Hello, welcome to Ikate's Crossing. Okay, we're going to take a look at the Native American tarot that I got, the Low Scarabio one, the new one. So let's sort of dive into the card for reflection. So what are we going to reflect on today? What's important for us to reflect on? Okay, the card that we're looking at today, Seven of Cups. Okay, Seven of Cups tell, talks to me about a sense of choices yet to be made or maybe there's some choices that we've got to make right now which are really important or we've made choices and sometimes just because something looks good doesn't mean it is. It might be an emotional attachment to it um, for some reason, you know, something that we want emotionally may not be totally that good for us in some way it could be toxic so it's important that we choose wisely now it doesn't say that it's a wrong choice it's just that it's a choice that it may not lead us on the right path on a good path or a positive path something like that but let's dive into what it says in the little white book because that's what we're doing we're exploring um what's in the little white books right so we've got chalices which are zodiac animals and water okay so we've got zodiac so we've got the seven which is a salmon <coughs> and it says the lord of wisdom that emerges from the water where it lives to show human self to man that's all it says salmon the land of wisdom that emerges is from the water where it lives to show himself to man. So it really doesn't say anything about what the card means or anything like that. So a little white book's okay, but it does tell you about that we're looking at salmon. So with the salmon, you could find out a little bit more about what does salmon mean in a Native American way. And so we could dive into a little bit more of that. Actually, my birthday book might tell me that. Let me have a look and see if it's got it in the birthday book. Here it should do. Yes, yeah, salmon. Okay, so let's have a look at salmon. Salmon says Northern Hemisphere, July 23rd, August 22nd. Southern Hemisphere is January the 20th, February the 18th. Okay, so it's Salmon. Birth time element is Fire. Elemental clan is Thunderbird. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Energy flow, active. Life path to harness the vital energies that can surge through you in order to achieve emotional balance and harmony with your environment. Your personal gifts okay so if we're looking at salmon as being a message you could say that it's um energy versatility sensuality benevolence determination affection charm and courage but the personal challenges could be impulsive so this could be the salmon reminding you to be careful about being too impulsive in your journey um arrogance you know don't think you know it all sort of thing um could be a sense of selfishness to the to it or maybe greed you know not everything you know don't get greedy in your choices that you need to make so these are layers that you could add to the um reading heart it talks about the heart of summer a time of ripening of reaching potential growth of course it's water it's a water element um, seasonal totem it's connected to the coyote which is kind of interesting color red plant is raspberry and gemstone is garnet okay kind of interesting there so strengths to cultivate intuition physical stamina optimism and motivation possible weaknesses to address can be gullibility to flattery Ah, that could be quite interesting there. So you've got the seven of seven of cups or seven of chalices, seven of cups, whatever you like to call it, seven of chalices. And you could have that sense of um, 
be careful to being flattered being um you know don't be gullible to other people when other people flatter you in some way be careful of your inflated ego and don't be oversensitive to constructive criticism kind of interesting there So kind of interesting. I mean, you can go into a lot more with the um, salmon people, elemental clan, all that sort of stuff. But we're just looking at what message does this have for us today in regards to um, the Seven of Cups, in regards to the choices that you might have available, wise choices to, you know, you might have a lot of options available to you, but you do need to be careful to... Um, to what choices you make because just because it seems good you know be careful about people flattering you um you know the salmon can speak of you know being careful about other people flattering you other people speaking good of you because um they could be buttering i want to say butter you up and i don't know why i got it i got that image of sort of salmon butter being cooked you know being fished and then being cooked in butter and i sort of got that you know be careful of people sort of buttering you up in that respect you know just be careful about don't let your ego get the better of you um sort of energy so that's kind of interesting so we've got sort of a basic overview of what this card could mean but we need a little bit more information about what does it mean for us um in regards to what's going on so we want a little bit more information so can you give us a little bit more information about the, the seven of cups and we have the king of swords okay so i'm getting here with the king of swords that we need to think carefully we need to analyze our choices okay we need to analyze our choices the hermit tells us to meditate on the situation Okay, so we've got all these options available to us. We've got all these choices. We need to be careful about people buttering us up in regards to our ego and things like that. And then it sort of says, hey, wait a minute. You also need to think very carefully about the facts of the situation. Look at the facts. Look at the um, time to really look at, you know, there could be other people's perspectives, um, you need to look at all the options that are available to you in regards to that situation. And so it's about meditation, the wisdom, um, or the knowledge you gain from this situation is kind of important here. So you need to sort of, to sort of take a breath, meditate, reflect, um, contemplate, look at the options that are available to you here. And you get the sun... And the sun, to me, is a sense of, it's a new day. Um, it feels like this is your, your ability to find happiness in the choices that you make. Okay, whatever choice you make in regards to looking at the facts, analyzing it all, um, contemplating, using your wisdom or your knowledge that you've gained from your experiences... Um, you've got to be happy in your choices. Find happiness in the choices that you make. So that's kind of an interesting message there with the Native American tarot when you look at it like that. So that was our main card that we looked at. Um, definitely felt like, you know, we had choices. We've got options. We've got to be careful about other people flattering us or buttering us up in the choices that we make. So we need to think very carefully about it. We need to analyze our choices we need to um, be sort of, I want to say logical in the choices that we actually make. Use our own knowledge, um, contemplate, com um, reflect, but use our own knowledge or experiences gained to make the choices. And we need to be happy with the choices that we actually make. I think we need to find happiness. It's a new day, it's a new start, so we need to find that sense of happiness and joy. So it's kind of interesting there to reflect on. Okay, so that's it from me. Don't forget to check the links down below. Check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Take care and bless you.